I believe that accessibility is that which enables people to achieve their full potential. Without accessibility, individuals with disabilities are excluded from participation in society. They are denied a basic civil right others take for granted, the possibility of contributing to the social, economic, and political life of their communities. With accessibility, we can work towards creating a truly inclusive society where people with disabilities would participate fully in the labor market. And as many studies have shown, their participation has a beneficial economic impact. But for this to happen, employers need to become familiar with the business case for hiring people with disabilities and the benefits of including this talented source of labor in much higher numbers in Ontario and beyond. I hope that the creation of a National Disability Employment Awareness Month and its goals for a National Disability Employment Strategy will be the catalyst that will inspire employers to act based on knowledge of the positive impact employees with disabilities can have on the bottom line. Thank you. I run a business, not a charity. I would not apply for a job that I didn't think I had the qualifications for. Je dirige une entreprise avec un très haut niveau de productivité. Comment une personne handicapée pourrait-elle travailler pour nous? C'est impossible. Having impaired vision doesn't mean I can't do my job. It just means I might do it in a different way. Mes employés auraient du mal à travailler avec une personne handicapée. Ils se sentiraient mal à l'aise. I can honestly say that I have not experienced any negative reaction from co-workers or employers. Pendant des générations, nous avons connu une ségrégation des gens qui ont un handicap. On a souvent peur de ce qu'on ne connaît pas. By working at Tim Hortons, it made me more independent. If I accommodate someone with a disability, the other workers might resent the investment. I was born a leg amputee. I don't need any special accommodation. The most important aspect of hiring a person with a disability is getting the right fit. Je suis bipolaire, j'ai des hauts, j'ai des bas, mais ça n'interfère pas avec mon travail. J'ai conscience de mon état. I think the bottom line is that we put too much emphasis on disability. The goal of doing this type of work that we do is to try to eliminate the disability from the equation. Speaking. And is it samples that you send down to the US or is it, is it actually sold product that you're shipping? Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just take down your contact info and uh, for I'll pull the proposal out of our uh, out of our pricing system and email that over to you and we can uh, we kind of move forward from there. When I was a courier, obviously I was picking up and delivering packages and all face-to-face -face interaction with customers, but on a very short and basic communication level. I knew the business fairly well and knew I could make a transition into uh, another role. I work usually seven to eight hours a day, nine to five. Sometimes you work later, sometimes I do travel into the head office for work. I talk to an average of 20 customers a day. Good morning, Caleb. It's uh, Tim calling from Pure Later. Uh, I did get your voicemail uh, from earlier in the week. Uh, it's a crazy week for you. but uh, just... My injury is kind of unique. We were up at our family's cottage. I was swimming off the end of our, our dock and our uh, golden retriever jumped off the end of the dock and landed across the, the back of my neck and uh, uh, I suffered a spinal cord injury. Pure Later was open to at least looking at me since I was a, an employee before my accident. I also had good references from managers that I'd worked with in the past. I was 29 when I was hurt and and didn't want to sit in front of the TV for the rest of my life. I wanted to, you know, obviously have some, some satisfaction in a, in a working capacity. I was with Pure Later for nine years at that point. And I talked to our human resources. There were a lot of questions that need to be asked on both sides and, and a position found that was suitable for me.
I don't think you can go through an injury like that I've gone through and you not have a new perspective and you know instead of looking at the glass half empty you learn to enjoy what you've got you learn to appreciate what you can do and, and you also have an understanding that things could be worse and you also owe it to yourself to make sure that you're at your potential you know your disability doesn't have to be uh, a topic of conversation you know, once I get talking to you you're gonna forget that I'm sitting in, in a wheelchair This partnership is a, a great example of how two entities can get together and create uh, this opportunity for somebody who's able to show their abilities in the workplace. We should be focusing on what is optimal for each individual to perform to their very best. This is the new business norm and this is just an awareness issue, nothing else. Having the challenge with my vision made me stronger and more determined. It taught me how to solve problems. Ne risque-t-il pas d'être souvent en congé maladie et de travailler plus lentement? Many employers think people in wheelchairs cannot do the same job as a regular person. Today we spend $3.2 billion of taxpayers' money to ask people with disabilities to stay at home. We need to get people with disabilities into the workforce. Everyone should be hired for a position that takes advantage of uh, whatever their talent or abilities are. I'd feel guilty firing someone with a disability. The biggest assumption that I hope people don't make about me is that I need to be treated differently. Ça semble être une bonne idée, mais est-ce que c'est profitable? Est-ce que c'est vraiment bon pour mon entreprise? We have seven Tim Horton stores. We had opened a store that had a very large dining room, and uh, it became obvious very quickly that I was going to have to hire an individual to look after the dining room. I hadn't had much experience to people with disabilities up until that point, so I enlisted the help of Community Living Toronto. Because of the expertise, we were very successful in training Clint. Love working here because it made me grown as a person. I saved all my money up to buy a condo. So I'm living there with me and Katie. And now we're supporting each other as, as husband and wife. Clint has worked with us now for 15 years. We had so much success with Clint. We hired uh, many people with disabilities, mostly intellectual disabilities, in various uh, positions. Sharon started working with us about 10 years ago, and she's just done a phenomenal job. I hear border the 9, punch in 9 o'clock, and then I start my day. That's my job, is to make sure everything is nice and clean. As long as you have the right person, the right fit for the, for the position that you have in your company, it has every, every chance to succeed. The average tenure for one of my employees is one year and three months. The average tenure for one of my employees who's disabled is seven years. So that's a real tangible benefit to any business person. Both sides of the party have to benefit from the relationship. Otherwise, it becomes a charity, and there's no point in doing that. I became an advocate for the disabled because I was born partly deaf myself. I uh, grew up as a teenager uh, having many of the barriers and myths placed in front of me as well that people with disabilities have today. And uh, I struggled with that. There are many myths associated with hiring people with disabilities. The one that I find the most is that they have this misconception that people with disabilities are going to get hurt. That's simply not true. With more than 50 people with disabilities hired in the last 15 years, we have never had a WSRB claim on any of our employees. In Canada, 16% of the population is disabled. That's the entire population of Alberta, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. And most of those are unemployed simply because too many employers believe in those myths. The way that we can change that is education. That is the most important thing that we can do.
Ça m'a pris six mois avant de me trouver un boulot. Aujourd'hui, je pense que mon employeur ne regrette pas son choix. Elle a été visionnaire de me faire confiance. I'd like the CEO to be sensitive to the disability, but go beyond that. So accommodation shouldn't even be an issue anymore. I really appreciate when my boss recognizes my abilities over my disability. C'est dans notre intérêt de maximiser la contribution de chacun. I'm a Paralympian in cross-country skiing, and I translate legal documents from French to English. My biggest challenge right now is finding the time to do everything that I want to do. I train six times a week and about an hour and a half to two hours a day. And then I also have competitions that I have to go to. So all of that takes a lot of time. My motivation is mostly internal. I am interested in pushing my limits and seeing how far I can go. And that's really all that motivates me. I'm considered legally blind. That means I can see around 10% of what a regular person can see. I think in my case, it might be more like 7%. I was born with this disability. My mother is totally blind and my father has the same vision as me. In our family, we always just did everything kind of the way that anybody else would. My father made sure that I would go to a class where I would learn how to use print. I don't use a cane because I find that I can see enough to get around without it. I don't need any special accommodations at home. I can use everything that anybody else can use. At this point, I translate about 1,250 words a day, and I'm striving towards 1,500 words a day. Margarita was hired as a full-time translator a little over a year ago. She worked three terms with the Translation Bureau. She was a fabulous student, and we were really happy with her work. I translate from French to English, mostly court documents and also some administrative documents for Justice Canada and other clients. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I will work on it until it's the best that it can be. She has a type of software on her computer that enlarges the text. She has her monitors on arms, like many people who have certain ergonomic adjustments need, so it's really not a different cost than accommodating people with other types of conditions. She takes the text like anybody else. Return and some new work. She's very dedicated. Someone who's an Olympic level athlete is very focused and always strives to improve, and you see that in her day to day work. In a cross country race, you're also under pressure because you're always racing against the clock, so you're always trying to, to be as fast as you can be. I think CEOs should give people with disabilities a chance because they can do pretty much everything that the rest of the people can do, and sometimes they can do it better. It just depends on the person. A disability is just something they have, not something that defines them. Si nous sommes incapables d'intégrer des gens qui ont un handicap, ce sera la force d'une loi qui va nous forcer à faire ce changement. Pourquoi devrions-nous attendre quand cette main d'œuvre peut nous aider à devenir plus compétitive? Accessibility works for everyone, for employers, employees and customers. What is required now is a higher awareness. Join the NBM campaign. Help us make October National Disability Employment Awareness Month.